name is Ricky Barnett. I am a captain for the Miramar Fire Rescue Department. What I'm going to talk to you about today is the competition that was held in Mexico City, Mexico, which was the first ever advanced life support competition held in that country. The competition was hosted by the International Mexican Red Cross. The Miramar Fire Rescue Department participated in that competition, which spanned over two days and 30 hours of grueling work. We were amongst many teams that were there to compete over a two-day, 30-hour period. The teams had really no idea of what they were going into. There was probably over 80 firefighters, 15, 15 teams of over four or five personnel that participated in this competition. We were just one of those 15 teams and we placed second in that overall competition. They didn't know when the calls were coming, they didn't know what they were responding to, but they all got dispatched to different calls. Some of the calls went through four o'clock in the morning. Weather conditions, altitude sickness, and sleep deprivation and teams overcame that and worked very well together. What they had here was a realistic fire going on and they had uh, real firefighters there protecting the actual patient. They actually put a moulage um, dummy that weighed over 200 pounds that one of the team members had to go and simulate pulling the fire, the injured firefighter out of a fire. Once this was actually a timed event and it was graded based on slow lead time. And we had a patient that were simulating that same firefighter was burned and now they had to actually treat the burned patient and medically and get him stabilized. One of the obstacles that they met in this in this particular scenario was they could not find the burn sheets in those four, in those bags that were foreign to them. And one of our team members um, modified the treatment and basically just took the shirt right off his back to help the patient and prevent that patient from being uh, infected from any outside barrier. All right, we're gonna go ahead. Do we have a nebulizer where we can administer nebulized saline or something here? Draw me up some saline, but I can't attach it to the bag. So just draw me up some saline, and I'll put it in the tube. All right. All right. Get a chance if you can. Time. Time. Any of these scenarios can happen on any day. Um, burn patients, now, you know, you have to be careful because burn patients nowadays, there's very different scenarios from being burned inside a house fire to a barbecue to even a car fire. Burn patients are one of the most painful uh, injuries that you can actually sustain. And training with those kind of injuries is very helpful for us because it keeps us on our toes. We don't always see those injuries. They're not very common injuries that you see them, especially to that extent. But because we are able to um, train for those, it keeps us always ready and prepared and, and know exactly how to do and when to do it. Miramar has always been good about training. We're always competing in different competitions. The training alone keeps us at that high level of treatment that we can for all our patients and all our residents here in the city. Our, our high level keeps us above just the average paramedic or the average firefighter and it keeps us to that high standard that we hold here in Miramar. Me personally, I've been competing with the city of Miramar for well over 12 years. Um, we have put together different competitions. In my opinion, this is probably one of the most, if not the most, realistic scenario that we have ever done.